Got a real quick video here. We've got a leaking gas valve not closing off all the way. I suspect somebody got overly aggressive on the dope, which you can see inside there. It has a strainer, so let's open it up and see why it, it doesn't close completely. Well, like all gas valves, it's a double, double valve, which means it has two shutoffs. Right here and here, they'll both rise up. So we got a big one and a little one. And then the solenoid is converted to DC, and that way it little bridge rectifier there converts it to DC. It pulls both solenoids open. And then I can see a little bit of trash on the larger one, which you can see a little bit of debris not much and that gives you a redundancy when you have two valves they both have to function for the gas to open but let's dig a little deeper and see how this thing regulates so here's your metering orifice which would make this a slow opening gas valve really tiny little hole there the little valve is going to put pressure onto the diaphragm. So there's really three valves working here. The little one, when it pressurizes the diaphragm, it opens up the regulator here. Through that port, and I have a feeling this diaphragm, which is your pressure adjustment, it helps set that pressure that it runs on this valve. So you can clearly see this valve here comes from the larger plunger. So the little plunger then probably goes to this regulator up here and then comes back across to come out and put pressure on the diaphragm. So for this valve to leak, it's probably that big one. So the big plunger was what the one that was leaking, not the little plunger. But these are designed where when they're, they fail to off, it's called to fail to a safe position. And anything that's dangerous is designed like that, especially with fire. So, if one of the plungers gets stuck, this valve's going to fail to off. You'd have to have both plungers get stuck open, which is unlikely, because there's two of them, for this valve to fail to on and then have runaway flames, you know, burn down the house. The solenoid fails, of course it shuts off. If you get trash in one of these plungers, you will get the gas odor but it's not going to be enough to run this valve wide open. That's the dangerous part. So it's, I've never heard of these things failing to a non-safe position. There you have it. Why a natural gas furnace gas valve is making an odor and leaking. By the way, these are tamper proof. They have the little pin in the middle. Nobody's supposed to be servicing gas valves. You just change them out. Even if it's something simple, you're really not supposed to service it. I've seen sometimes contacts get bad on the solenoid. But they're designed to fail to a safe position. But when you start servicing them, an actual component like this, then you can start creating engineering changes which could alter that design and you're not an engineer you're not supposed to be redesigning anything that has to do with safety hope you like watching the video thanks for watching